this crazy gig that we have, it's just a gas. It's just, I, I, it's such a cliche, but I sometimes really have to pinch myself that I actually get paid to do this, to put on these clothes from the, from the 80s, to have people that are so good at their jobs help to transform you and, and turn you into a different person. I love it. And then to end up at the end of the day, running up the steps to the psycho house, which is obviously, you know, one of the most iconic pieces of set decoration and, you know, construction that's ever existed. It was just, it was just magical. I mean, this whole day is a dream. This is one of those days where you look around and you go, I'm so happy that I have this gig. This is such a great way, fun way to make a living. And I feel very, very grateful to do it. I'm a huge horror film fan. You know, so much of horror from that point on is, you know, kind of derives directly from Psycho. So it's, it's, uh, it's really great. I'm just sorry we didn't get a chance to see the shower. <laughs> You do the preparations for the scene and you think about it, but nothing can really prepare you for what it's like to actually be there on the day. There's just something, there's an air to it all that's still quite eerie. Un uncharacteristically, because it's not really my thing and it's not really, uh, I don't think it's really Mia's thing either. She said, you know, we, we really need to go and have somebody take a picture of us in front of the Pates Motel. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So, so we went down and someone took a couple of pictures of us with the motel and with the and then with the house in the in the background. It was it was a great day.